Hello everybody. Today we talk about processability test with our RCR. My name is Dr. Joachim Sunder, here with a new Gottfried Round table. You are often using Mooney and MDR rheometer in the, your quality test in the lab. Sometimes you detect that the data which seem to be constant and okay in the lab do not correspond to the data you have from the production. There you produce crap and um, you have a lot of problems. The RCR can even detect this behavior by testing before production in the lab. I first like to introduce the instrument, the rubber capillary rheometer. The instrument consists of a piston, a barrel with a die and a mold. The mold can be closed, so you inject into the mold, like into an injection molding machine, or it can be kept open and you extrude through the die. Now I like to present some examples which shows that the prediction of processability of the RCR is much better than the conventional tests you do with Mooney or MDR rheometer. On the left side of this example, you see the MDR curve of two similar batches. The difference is a slight difference in the cure curve. One compound, one batch is slightly faster than the other. You can mainly see a T50, T90, some differences. From that example, you would never judge that you might get problems in production. But if you now look at the data of RCR, it is done at constant pressure and the volume we detect here is about 30% lower of the compound, which is slightly faster in MDR test, but 30% lower, 30% difference in RCR. And now we have no doubt of differences of the compounds. So we have a very effective test. The next example is about extrusion quality behavior. We have two different compounds. We run them at different speeds in the RCR, starting from a low speed. Uh, both compounds show a smooth pressure level. And then we can see that at increasing the speed, which is to be seen at the next step of the pressure, we see that we have a pressure oscillation on one compound and the other is still smooth. And this is even worse at further increase of speed. In Mooney, you will never be able to test these instabilities, which is a kind of slipstick, which generate a poor extrusion quality because at Mooney test you run at a shear rate of 1.57 which is very very low far away from a slipstick area so there you always have a smooth curve and will never be able to de detect these instabilities. Summarizing we have a very effective test with the RCR because we test in, in the processing range of production and it's much more effective prediction of processability of compounds than with conventional methods like MDR or Mooney. Thank you very much for your interest in our video and stay tuned for our next Gottfried Round Table. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>